I wanted to give you an update today on my project I've been working on, One Nation by Bygone Stitches. Slowly but surely, I'm making progress. I really like the way it's looking. I'm excited to have a little bit of a border to work with. And I think it's showing up okay on this fabric. I like it because it lists the states in the order that they entered the union. So it starts with Delaware and ends with Hawaii. So I'm a history buff. I like that it has some significance and also, it's really, really pretty. So I ran, was getting close to running out of my DMC floss. So I had to go and buy some more red and some more of the Ecru. And I have a complete set of DMC, but I only have like one skein of each. So I need to buy some multiples, especially of colors that I know I'm using or that I'm using in other spots because it's a hassle when I need a color and it's kitted up somewhere else. This is how I organize my flosses. I have the little boxes. I have them numbered with the little stickers you can get, the DMC stickers. And then I have labels showing the range. And I keep these all in an Alex drawer from Ikea, the short wide one. And I do have multiples, like there's my blacks and whites and there's my one for $1.99. And there's a lot of holes in them, a lot of missing uh, little spools because they are kitted up in other projects. So I guess that works for me now. I do like the bags. I like the little floss away bags. Um, mine aren't the actual floss away bags, but they're like that. Um, my Victorian motto flosses, I do keep on rings in the bags. And I do it by colors. So there's my pinks and purples. Got my blues and my greens. My reds. My browns, tans, golds. And there's actually a lot more than that. But those are the ones that aren't kitted up with another project right now. So I do like having the actual DMC that I can compare when I'm looking for a color, especially if I want to do a variegated fancy floss with it. I like being able to pull the actual DMC color. Um, I don't have one of those cards that has the actual threads on there, which would be nice to have, but the actual um, kit, if I would keep them all together, works really well for that. So I felt like I was not using good use of my time when I went to Joann's and just bought red and ecru floss. A little bit frustrating that I didn't have a plan and get a little bit more done. <laughs> but it's coming along and I didn't want to run out. For the blue, I am using a Victorian motto fancy floss. And I think I will have enough of that. I hope with that 20 yard skein that I have enough to do that. If not, I'll be emailing her to see if she has more. I actually do have a finish I wanted to share with you. Chalk on the farm, the Autumn Acres Farm. I can't decide if I want to put a ruffle on this or find a galvanized frame or what I want to do to actually finish it. Maybe some buffalo check like everybody else does around the edges. But I like the sign that goes with it. I think it's really, really sweet. It has all the pumpkins. And then, let's see. Oh, sorry. I love it. So I used my fancy floss, the call for floss on the barn doors, on the truck, um, the blues was the call for, were the call for colors, the
gray, the silver is a galvanized cold pour color. Um, I think for this one I did use most of the cold pour colors. It was the first fancy floss I'd ever bought. When I did the others in this series, I used a little bit of fancy floss if it was going to be a big area like a barn or a truck. But for the rest of it, I used the DMC. But I really like the way it turned out. This frame is just a off the rack from Hobby Lobby. It's an 11 by 14. I took the glass out so the glare wouldn't be a factor and put the um, fabric on a sticky board. Hot glued um, to the back of the sticky board to secure it. I did not lace this one like I did my Playing with Jacks. I just did it simple and I think it works really well. I can change out my other ones. I um, use the same 14 count Ada on all of my chalk on the farm so I could trade them out with the seasons. And I did not put any batting behind this one. My Playing with Jacks, I put a little bit of batting. This one, I didn't put any. But I just think it's precious. I love the pumpkins. The truck, the scarecrow, the barn. I think it turned out really cute. So yay, it's a finish. And I can actually um, now get the sticky board out and finish my other ones to go in there as the seasons hit. And um, you guys have inspired me to get busy and get going, so I'll have something to show you. I found my glue guns. So excited. I knew I would find them. That was my mission. And I was in my utility room looking for stuff to wrap birthday presents. And I found my glue guns. I had taken them out of the container that they had lived in their whole lives and put them in a drawer. There they were. So I was really excited to find them. So now I can really go to town on my projects because my glue guns are so thanks for hanging out with me today. It was fun chatting with you. Um, I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye, y'all.